Three years ago, the Northey family was preparing to welcome their fourth baby. And after a seamless full-term pregnancy, nothing could have prepared them for what they were about to face. Yeah, just days after Eli was born, uh, Peter and Jenny received the devastating news that their baby boy had cancer and would need to immediately start chemotherapy. Uh, Peter, Jenny and their four children, Luke, Liam, Ava and Eli, join us now. It's such a pleasure to have you guys Hello. in here. Hi. What Thanks for having me. family. I know. <laughs> what, what devastating news to receive. Peter, uh, when, when did you first realise that something was wrong? When Eli was born, just seconds later, I looked across the room and I could see doctors just panicking. And within seconds, they grabbed Eli in a trolley and they ran out of the room and they ran. And I knew instantly there was something not right. And um, I just ran after them and followed them all the way up to the, uh, the newborn emergency nursery there and watched them work really hard to save my boy. Jeez, oh, excuse me, goosebumps just hearing that story. Um, three days after Eli was born, you were told to say your final goodbyes after me just meeting him. That must have been such a terrible time for you, Jenny. It was um, just being in that postnatal phase of just having a baby and the unknown. Um, we actually got our the local priest in to say uh, to baptise Eli into the Catholic faith and give him his final rites just in case he actually did pass away. Oh, bless you. He looks like such a happy little boy now. <laughs> and you can see his little siblings there, how proud they are of him and how happy with... How is, how's he doing now? How is he doing? How are you, mate? He's doing really okay. well. So, um, he... <laughs> as well as his breathing difficulties at birth, he was diagnosed at five weeks of age of having neuroblastoma, which is an aggressive form of childhood cancer. Jeez. And um, we've had a hell of a ride with his chemotherapy and his treatment and the side effects of chemotherapy. <laughs> Um, we're pleased to say that he's now in remission and um, Fantastic. He, he's doing really well and here he is here, as happy as anything. He still breathes with his tracheostomy and still has his breathing difficulties. We, we still have dramas with that, but we manage and he's a beautiful young boy. Yeah, well, tell us about Eli. What's he like as, what's he like as, a, little, <laughs> as a little brother? <laughs> he's sometimes a hero. Sometimes <laughs> a hero, yeah. In what way? From surviving all this disaster. It's a lot for a little little boy to go through, right? How you feeling, Eli? You good? Say hi. Yeah. You're hey, so you know, good. You like seeing yourself on the telly there, don't you? <laughs> yeah. wait, wait. Uh, wait. You guys obviously provide round-the-clock care for Eli. Like, can yeah. you tell us about Camp Quality? How it came about? So we reached out to Camp Quality in our darkest of days. Um, we were just burnt out. We were getting up 12 times a night for Eli's care, which suctioning and peg feeds and... We just reached out to Camp Quality for um, a respite and that's how we honestly became first involved with Camp Quality. Um, they've been excellent in providing respite camps for us where we get to meet other families and just link in with people that have been through the same path as us. When Eli was about six months of age, um, we were getting up six to eight, ten, twelve times a night sometimes just to suction the moisture out of his chest. Um, if we didn't do that, he'd stop breathing in the middle of the night. We'd have to resuscitate him. And getting up 10 times 12 a night, your last guest talked about um, sleep deprived and, and how hard it is. And let me tell you, it, it's so true. Um, Eli was up that many times and if we didn't suction him, he would stop breathing. And we got to the point where we needed help. So we reached out to Camp Quality and they provide us the most beautiful retreat up in Salamander Bay. Uh, on the mid-north coast of New South Wales. And they gave us a break. They provided us with a doctor and a nurse to care for Eli while we could have a break. And Jenny and I had our, our first night's sleep, full night's oh, sleep yeah. since he was born. And we were able to give the love, care and attention to the other kids that they so desperately needed. Yes, you're so right, because I mean, raising a family of four kids is, is hard enough. And then you also add the extra complexity of having a little boy who has such serious health issues. Uh, Luke and Liam, what was your favourite part about the retreat? Um, going to camp. Yeah. Was it nice to get away? Yeah. What did you like best about it? Um, that we get to see all the other people that had sick brothers and sisters yeah. and how they got through it. Yeah, because you often really forget funny. that it's yeah. the other kids in the family as well that also yeah. feel it, right? We, we had to pack up our family when Eli was in hospital for four months. We packed up our family. We live uh, down the south coast of New South Wales. We packed him up and moved up to Randwick so we could be by his hospital bed. And it really, it affected our entire family, especially our, our 
his younger brothers and sisters because they had to stop going to school and preschool and seeing their friends. We were literally at the hospital the entire time and it was a huge impact. And Camp Quality have just been so amazing to help keep our family together. That's fantastic. Yeah, the work they do is really... Unfortunately, my own friend had, had a child who had uh, neuroblastoma as well. But tell us about this Saturday, what's happening, because you guys are raising uh, funds for Camp Quality. Yeah, we've got camp in um, with Camp Quality. Um, it's this Saturday night where we're going to be setting up a tent in our backyard. If it does get really cold, we're just maybe going to move into the lounge room. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we're going to jump online and um, do fun activities, play games and um, talk with other families and they do competitions and stuff like that. And um, we're trying to raise awareness and, and raise funds for Camp Quality so they can help other families like ours that have really... Uh, been in the worst situation. Yeah. And it's something we can all do. We can do yeah. that with our kids. 100%. We can throw up a tent in the, in the lounge room. That's for sure. How's your daddy at putting up a tent? Really good. Oh, oh great. Maybe you can come to ours if I want to frost it. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, there's still room. If, if people Wait. haven't registered, they can jump online and they can um, obviously register to, to do it. You don't yeah. have to be a family already affected by cancer. We're just asking anybody that uh, is anyone, please... Um, Help, help us raise some funds for such a worthy cause. Most yeah, definitely. We just saw how beautiful the naughty family are. We can, we can do more, guys. Yeah. For more information, you can head to campquality.org.au. Um, thank you to you, your gorgeous Northy family. Thank and Eli, you. we're so happy that you're feeling Thanks. better. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at your beautiful face. <laughs> oh, thanks Good so on much, guys. guys. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you.